Greetings beautiful soul, welcome into your tarot card messages. These messages are for your entertainment. So, and they're specifically for Zodiac sign Cancerian and um, take the messages that applied for you. Thanks for tuning in and they're your money messages. The, even though they're for your entertainment, you may also find one or two messages that can help you on your journey. Of course, your show of support is abundantly appreciated. So continue liking the video, please, and thank you. Sharing, commenting, subscribing, all of your support is abundantly appreciated. So let us take a look at what is going on for you financially. On the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of wands. I hear Skelly. Skeleton, skeletal, or skeleton. You may be planting something, and something was planted in the background. Something is coming up to life. Something may be growing. But we have the Three of Swords card. There's something a karmic here. Something about an ex, and something spiritual. Yeah, the beast. There's something sinister or spiritual going on around in some way, shape, or form. This is your money reading. There's something about bees as well. Like something is eerie. Three of Swords card. I don't want to show it. Um, oh my god, the next card is Ten of Swords, which is like even worse. But with the Ten of Swords card, you're about to have a new breakthrough in some way, shape. Or either you're going on a road of sadness or you're you're over it. Right? Um, but I feel like you're over it. I feel like you're looking back. I hear penit penitentiary or penetration. What are you focusing on with the Ten of Swords energy? What are you giving your time to? Because something about your skills and evening time and everything matters because you could be making so much money right now. I think that we're talking about your beauty, your talents, your sophistication, just the way with you. You could be marketing your whole self. All right, there's something about your genes as well. And then with the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords, there's someone out here that's been telling lies on you. Right? We're going to see what the next card is. Someone is also like actively watching all of your social media. There's someone watching you secretly with the sepulchre card up here. They're secretly watching you, spying on you. I feel like this is someone that spoke about you in some way. Um, some way, shape, or form. Pictures with money. They're secretly spying on you. Um, it could be an ex. We have the king of swords next. For sure, someone has been watching you. Something about brother or a brother. Right? And they're watching you so hidden, so secretly. Like, imagine a shade going, like, shadily. A shade going over someone's eye. They're in the dark eyes. They're in the darkness. Like, almost like a confession. But you can't see the other person's face. That's how they're watching you. So, it's like, you could also be telling a lot of truth. So, they could be watching your readings. Or if you're a tarot reader, this is someone that... They're, they're spying on you. They're watching what you're saying because it could be really resonating with what has been going on the, in their life. And they've been like low-key watching you um, speak truth to them. It's like a confessionary, like someone speaking truth. But it is you that is speaking someone's truth to them. I'm getting. Um, yeah, oh my gosh. Yo, you, because you're the high priestess. Because... I was about to say because you're clairvoyant and just someone is like recognizing you. This is your natural gift. So you could be making a lot more money and there's someone like watching to see how much money you're making. All right. I hear epiglottis. And this, this someone, like I said, they, they may have been trying to work behind you in some way. Like to tell lies on you or to get people to not believe in you or trust in you. But you know this. You know what they've been up to. And so it did not manifest like how they thought it would. And so this person, they're, they're withdrawing. They've pulled back their magic. You know? And so no, they're just mainly watching you. Watching you speak. Watching you work as the high priestess. Right? The ace of cups. Exactly. Like you're so forgiving and so full of love. So beautiful. So queen-like regal royal so 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 everything someone else help someone help me with the words you are a prophet and you're like an you're like the good witch thank you the high priestess card you're forgiving you're healing you're healing tones you're healing energy so this person that is secretly watching you they want to move into your life because they're somehow in the shadows in the bushes right um and they want to move on to your into your kingdom your kingdom could be this place of heaven or this place of goodness and well-being. So they want to step over foot into your kingdom, but they're watching you from behind the bushes. And they really want, this could be someone just wanting to come home in your life. This is a money reading, right? Um, so someone wants forgiveness right here. 
uh, but you're, you're, there's something about your heart. It's like you already know something because you feel it here emotionally. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Guess which? This one. What's going on? I hear you, Nick. You're like such a blessing for true because you speak so much truth. You're very clairvoyant. You're highly royal. You're highly, your highness, your high. Is oh my gosh, and there's someone that is truly some there's a twin flame that is truly someone is truly truly really loves you for real. I'm not sure if this person's thinking of coming and telling you this, but look at how they admire you and they've spent a lot of time thinking about you, watching you, watching you online, right? They hold you, they, they hold you on their heart in their space a lot, you know, the ten of swords card. And you just tell this person, this someone is like. It's giving me obsession also like they watch you all the time at what you say. This person loves you. So you may work online and this person, they love you. Oh my God, I'm about to like cry. They just mean so much to someone. Even if this person, they haven't said it to you or if this person, you haven't met them. Someone holds you highly because of um, your work or your mind or just your way you are, your energy. This person see you as so loving such a your giver of light energy you're so giving and i feel like they can also see that you've been through some things i'm wondering if this person may want to talk to you so this is a love reading well this is a money reading but i feel like this is about your your place of work who is seeing you who is watching you who is um appreciating you who is loving you right so that we have this oh my gosh so even if you've been um dealing with financial inconsistencies you're about to see overflow. You see that Ace of Cups and it's coming from a place of love to you. You're going to like feel emotional. It's got, You're going to feel so thankful. You could be working with someone else online too, right? Oh, yeah. It may also rain or get windy. Wow. So the, wow. The lover's card. This is so beautiful. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, strong Gemini energy. Uh, maybe watch Gemini's reading. I uploaded it today. Right? Wow, I like this a lot. And the star card, so strong air sign. So and and you getting attention online. This is another seal, another confirmation. Keep doing what you're doing because there are some powerful people that are watching you. You're also highly protected, highly just loved and appreciated. So keep doing what you're doing and speaking your truth. You're maybe a spiritual activist, but whatever you do, you do it lovingly and beautifully powerfully you own your own space your own word your own mind here and it's one of a kind you're so unique so someone may be thinking of working with you all right and speak goodness over your life you are worthy of everything popularity success all the attention that is coming your way right so yeah you are so inspiring everything this that may be coming to you may just be so full it may make you cry it's coming from the gods and the ancestors the angels the spirits the guides you are an angel yeah you hear thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up if you feel down in some way you're going to find inspiration and it is going to come by way of some type of a spirit that is going to make mention of something that you need to become aware of that will um, protect you in case something should go wrong let's say you thought that you were suffering um, there's going to be an energy that shows up that reminds you of who you are and reminds you to keep going and to think positively, to eat healthily, to take care of yourself. That there, where there is a will, there is a way, right? So bright new beginnings and you're going to get like your wishes granted. So you've got to remain hopeful in this energy, star energy. Someone is going to see you also shine bright. Is the energy of someone, I don't know, when they're looking at you, they have to like squint their eyes up in some way, shape or form. And they're doing it in a way where it's like it, they didn't expect you. It would like you to be shining. It's that energy. So it's a bit of perplex. <clears throat> it could be about your complexion as well in some way. You are naturally inspiring you. You're just nat a naturally inspiring person. Um, sometimes you may feel like people don't agree with you or whatever the case may be, but you're just so naturally gifted. You're so naturally inspiring. Your angels are very proud of you right now. They're overcome with joy and gladness in their heart this could be a person too that shows up in your life there's something about a father right oh my gosh look at this 
you win is the energy i feel like you win i just feel like you win you arrive you make it with the <laughs> with the lover's card and the ace of pentacles wow it's i oh and the star card you're getting some award some credits recognition fame fortune abundance there's something about your mouth like you'll be filling, filling yourself up. The Ace of Cups, your cup runneth over. Yea, though I walk, you've walked through valleys of. Sh you, you do you know what you've risen out of and overcome? You're living here as if you don't even know. It's like you're 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 standing here and people are like, you don't look like what you've been through. You don't talk like what you've been through. You don't act like what you've been through. It's like we are wondering if you are. Do you even remember what you've been through? You know, you're, you may be well-educated, well-spoken, well-taken-care-of, spiritual. You just look wholesome, humped up, and people are wondering. Just, it's like, we're stunned. People are stunned at your... We're sitting here interviewing you, and we're wondering, do you know what it is that you actually made it through? And it's like nothing, nothing scarred your fate. Nothing scarred your spirit. You're spiritually wholesome. We're wondering what it was that protected your your spirit, your mind. You, 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 oh my gosh. Because of all that you've been through. It's like Daniel in the lion's den. It's like, no, it was the ones that went in the fire. It's that Adrak, Meshach, and Abednego. It's that kind of energy. And you come out looking so innocent and and we're wondering to ourselves. We who is like, I feel like I'm the man interviewing someone on stage. It reminds me of one of those Malcolm X interviews. You know? Or not him, the one. So it's like you're a Muhammad Ali vibration. Because I'm sitting here interviewing you and I'm wondering, do you know what you've even been through? And you're sitting here like, you're giving me this long, brilliant response that is so full of everything I need. It is as if you're proving to me that what I'm feeling is like you you don't, you really don't have any concept of what you've been through, right? Or can you actually be that good? If that's the energy, that is the energy, primal success, youth. You're getting gifts 